One of the great things about Skype is being able to have face-to-face -face conversations and if you've used Skype you know how useful that is. You can just have audio conversations, you can have multiple people on the call and it's really, really useful. But I have also used it for when people are doing uh, conferences and they can't make it so they've got to be remote and then they can do their presentation to an audience and it gets projected on a screen or onto a big monitor. And one of the things you can do is share your presentation, say like your PowerPoint presentation or if you've got a Mac keynote or anything else that you've got, it can be images, whatever you've got on your computer. And for that, if you don't already have it, you can uh, sign up with Skype, it's skype.com. It is free and you can download the app and you've got it for the Mac and for Windows as well. I'm using it on the Mac here. It does work on other devices as well, so that's really handy too. So I've got it on my iPhone here and I'm going to call uh, myself. I've got two accounts so that you can see this in action. This seems to have become a bit more pressing at the moment because we're in the midst of this coronavirus and people can't make conferences but they want the conferences to go ahead so they're getting some of their speakers to do this remotely. And I find that this just works and a lot of people are familiar with Skype and it's free. So how do you do it? Well first I need to make a call. So I'm here on my calls over here. I've got recent calls. There I am, there's me. I'm going to make that call and I'm going to answer it on my iPhone here. So let's just answer that, just mute that and get rid of the speaker so I don't get all this feedback here. So I have answered it and you can see it's coming up here. So uh, that's handy and I'll show you what it looks like in a moment with the desktop there as well. So what I'm going to do now, I am just going to go to my, uh, firstly on here on my app you can see down here at the bottom. So if you move off of the app, um, all these kind of little icons, all these buttons disappear. So you need to be floating the mouse over here. And down here, you've got this, these two rectangles which say share screen. So I'm just gonna click on that. Now, if you've got a Mac, one of the things that might come up, because it's the first time you're doing it, is it comes up with settings. So if you've already done this, you won't get this problem. Just gonna click on settings and there's my security and privacy and I just need to tick on uh, Skype and let's just do later and let's just click here to make the changes, use my password. Okay, so now that I've done that, I suggest that if you're using a Mac, you need to restart and then start Skype again and that will then allow you to use the Skype and share the screen. So we're gonna just make that call again so let's just quickly mute that and accept and quickly mute that as well so that we don't get that same problem. So now I've got my PowerPoint open. I've got a PowerPoint. I'm going to just show you here. This is my photography training course. And yeah, there we go. So let me just go back to the beginning. There we are. And I'm just going to click here. You can see I've come up over here. So let me just do that. Go back to my Skype call. There we are. And what I'm gonna do now is I am going to click on this option, share screen. And there's two options here. I can share the whole screen so you can see everything going on, or I can just choose the application and I just want the PowerPoint. So I'm going to click here, choose share application window and I am going to choose this PowerPoint slideshow, which is just to the right here, and start sharing. And now you'll see here, I have got my PowerPoint presentation. And if I was to move through my presentation, I can see on my phone, my presentation here as well. So you can just come back to here. If I double click on it, you can see there's my presentation. I can't do both at the same time because I can't be in the app and show you, but that's what's happening. So you could have that on a big screen somewhere and your audience could see that. So this is a really good, useful way of being able to work remotely, 
do presentations and hopefully get you out of a pickle if you've got a conference or an event and the presenter can't actually make it. So I would suggest that this is a good alternative. There are other things out there such as Adobe Connect but you've got to pay for it. Webex as well but not everyone has got that so they've got to log in. But I think Skype provides a very useful way of presenting. If they don't have a PowerPoint or presentation to show either, they could just use their device, a smartphone or a tablet as well. They don't need to do it on a computer. But if you've got a presentation and it's on the computer, well, this is how you can do it. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. I've got some other videos on my channel at the moment that are very relevant to what's going on, such as live streaming and how you can then use that for your conference event announcement or for lectures. And again, it seems very relevant at the moment. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, please do subscribe below. You can also click on notifications and you will be alerted. So thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.